Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the tennis slate for today. It's about a half hour until post time, and we could have a guest uh, hop in. It's possible, um, because we, we did have the DFS hero guy message me about something I commented on in the last video, and I offered to have him come on here if he wakes up in time, I guess, or he's not too busy to kind of help me with this. Um, I think he answered my question about what what happens if I only put 40 lineups in. Uh, is it going to still sim from like, you know, five, ten thousand 10,000, whatever? And he assured me that it would. But um, I figured it would be fun if he just kind of hopped in as I was doing this. Um, and uh, if he shows up, great. Again, in fairness to him, I pinged him. I don't know what his hours are. It was like 7 a.m. my time. So I don't know when, how, how long he sleeps. But uh, if he shows up, great, I'll, I'll let him in. If not, maybe he could comment on this. So first of all, there's been a, there's a weird kind of dynamic with this uh, tennis slate in that you have one guy, McDonald, who allegedly is playing the doubles finals in Cincinnati this morning. And he's scheduled to play his singles match tonight in Winston-Salem. Um, I can't imagine that he plays. Um, so I don't know how to handle that because the thing is, if Mutet, his opponent gets a lucky loser, he's probably going to be like, you know, a four to one favorite. Um, so I'm kind of projecting him as somewhere between a four to one favorite and a three to one favorite sort of. And the problem is if I do that, I'm probably going to get a hundred percent of him. So we have to kind of figure out what we want to do with that. Um, but but as far as process goes, that's not particularly relevant. Um, but the first thing I, I do want to, I probably do want to X out McDonald's. Okay, there's no way I want to play that. Do I even have him? I probably don't anyway. So let's, let's we'll X him out anyway, ju just to make sure that we don't have him. Okay. And I, I probably wouldn't. Uh, nonetheless, so we already built 5,000 lineups. And again, we're only going to play 40. Uh, the only thing I didn't do is I set it, to, to, I set it at 20 max, um, which is fine. I presume this is fine. Um, so the first thing is what we're going to do is just kind of run our normal processes and and run our sims. And, and we're going to use first Saber sim. And then I do want to use DFS Hero to, again, to get practice with different tools and things like that. You know, we do have a relationship with Saber sim, and it's my thing I use mostly, but I do like some of the things that DFS Hero offer, especially with respect to those dupes. So I want to continue to hone my process, maybe use both of them. Um, so again, if I didn't try to sim this, I'd be getting like 100% of three, almost three people or four people, whatever. I'd be getting like 100% of like Carino, of Pablo Carino and, and, and Corentin and Mutet. Um, and I guess you can make an argument for that. But the, now the, what it really comes down to is what um, what fields you use, okay? Um, what's interesting, though, is that if I go to the whole pool, I'm only getting, like, only, like, 40% Mutet in that situation, 33% Caram Bueno Silva, well, not Caram Bueno Silva, Pablo Carena, um, so maybe it's okay to use this pool, right? Uh, I, I thought that I wouldn't get away with doing that, but I think it's going to be okay. But now I have to worry about dupes as well. Then again, it is a really, really big slate. Like how, how many, we're going to have what, uh, 19, 19, a 19 match slate. You're probably not going to worry too much about dupes. So, um, so what we're going to do is the same thing as usual. We're going to go through, um, and then hopefully by 11, we'll have the information up, and then I have to do my push-ups, which is going to be annoying. Because uh, I do think I'm going to end up duping if I'm not careful here. So first thing, I want to set this um, this uh, um, aggregate metric thing so that when I make my changes, I'm going to see like, like what I'm giving up, you know, when I make these changes. Like, for example, 
right now my average exposure, and this, excuse my average projection of my lineups is 359.22. And then if I go say to min uniques two, it's got to affect it somewhat, right? So now it goes to, to 356. I'm going to go with min uniques three, it goes down to 345. So at, at most, I maybe want to go min uniques two. Um, and you see that I'm still going to get 100% of Mutet and Carreno. Um, little, uh, little scary. Again, we're playing some of this on spec. You know, because Mutet ends up just playing McDonald's and McDonald's shows up and the line doesn't really move too much, then, you know, this is going to be a really bad play at 100% ownership. Because um, I'm projecting him as if he were a 4-1 to one favorite because that's what he's probably going to be, or 3-1 to one favorite, because that's what he's going to be if he faces the, the lucky loser, whoever that would be, probably. So there's a lot of variance in this slate. All right, so let's run the Sims and let's, huh, let's use build one because I don't think that the, the, um, that the stock lineups from Saber Simmer is going to do such a great job with this one because of that bit of variance. Uh, so I think me upping the ownership and upping the the pool size and whatever it is for for Mutet, I think that's we, I think we do have to account for that. So let's do that. Let's run the Sims with those settings, and I, I'm fairly confident. I'm fairly confident that that's the uh, that's the approach. All right, so let's see what we have here for the line painter. Let's see what we get. Now we're doing min uniques two. Uh, all right, so for min uniques two, we're getting now ninety seven percent Carreno and ninety five percent Mutet. Let's just kind of play around with this a little bit. So again, that's three sixty, three fifty six. I want to make sure it got the it, it did the sim right because I don't think much changed. Hold on, let's. Sometimes Saberson has been very um, been very fishy. So let's like for example, let's toggle away from this. We'll go to the queue first. Okay, so we saw something change at least. Now let's go back to line painter. Okay. Um, so now we're still getting a hundred percent Pablo Carreno and a hundred percent Rutet. And then we go down to Min Uniques 2 even. We're getting dings here a little bit. And then we go to Min Uniques 3, and now we're really getting dings. So this is going to be a rough one. Uh, we might end up just having to lock these two cats in and just kind of see what, see how we roll. Uh, that's rough. But, A, it's the way it's got to be, I guess. Let's, uh, let's save these for now because I do want to let um, – I do want to run it with DF, DFS Hero to see if there's any – else that it would look like so here it's like 100% Pablo Carreno 95% Mutet so let's 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 do the break point first okay it's fine break point and then we'll do the qualifiers again we're still using risk adjuster ROI here it's fine. And put these in. And we're off to the races. So then we're going to try. So we're in there in case, in case we can't make any progress with DFS here. But let's see. All right, so let's pull up the um, the tennis. And again, we are going to use our projections. So the first thing we're going to do is we got to go again to Projection Hub. Then we want to upload our projections, which we've kept over here. Uh, name to name. Fantasy points to user projections, ownership to user ownership, import next, and then make sure this maps. Make sure this maps. All right, we're, we're getting there. We got a set name. Okay, good. 
And then we have to take hero projection to zero, team to 100. Oops, oh, see where I go. Uh, did I even get this right? No, so I have to go back. I just clicked away too fast. So hero projection to zero. Test 100, okay? And that will apply. But let's also make sure that this is all checked off, okay? We'll go back in here and we wanna use user projections and we're getting those and user own, it's fine. Um, so now we're kind of off to the races, right? So we want to build 40. Okay, we'll build 40. Build 40 using user projections. We want to do settings yet? Yeah, let's just see. Uh, no, that's fine. Want to do min uniques too? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do, we'll do something else. Okay, settings saved. Build. So we're going to build 40, and then what we want to do is we want to sim and rank them here. So let's just see. So we want to leave, uh, take it off of hero mode. We'll go to custom settings. Uh, how many people, how many entries are there allowed in this tournament? Um, I don't know. Let's take a look. Let me just see. Uh, 67? No. Um, I have two entries in the break point? Ugh, I didn't realize. Um, it doesn't even say how many you can enter here. You'll be able to find it. Eighty-two. All right, so eighty-two entries, twenty-six hundred. Right? Is that how many are in this thing? Twenty-seven forty-five. Five. Keep this all the same, and then we should be good. And then we will rank forty lineups. Right? Okay. So we're simulating forty. Now, what we didn't do is the dupes again. So we do have to do we have to do that first or second? Let's just see. So I think it's in, I think it's an interesting feature to be able to to filter out the lineups that we think are going to be duped. Now I don't know how many are going to be duped on a big slate like this, but I don't know. And with this chalk that's just kind of piling in right now. Oh, so it looks like we're in good shape here. So so no dupes anyway. All right, so we're we're in good shape. So. We want to take a look and see what that is. Um, how do we see how much of everybody we have? Well, sure, we could probably look. Oh, exposure. There you go. Exposure. All right. So we're getting it. Looks, so it looks similar, right? So 100% Pablo Carena, 92% Mutet. So it is a good, it, it's actually good to, to double check this anyway. Um, see what export values does here. Where their values. Um, all right, this is sort of interesting. So we could, you know, it'd be an interesting um, uh, exercise to see how many of these lineups are lineups that we've made already. And we can actually do that. Um, I'll, I'll show you how in a minute. Um, depends, it depends how these are, um, how these are, are shown, let's see. Yeah, it lists it by, by name. So what we can do, 
is 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 this. Well, we could just put them in and then see how many dupes we have. But but I do have a well, I have a dupe calculator or a dupe scanner that could compare these. But but the way Hero is listing them is the name with the with the the ID, and the way I have them listed is through SaberSim is through just player ID. But what I can do is this. Let's uh, check this out. So let's do SaberSim and let's uh, upload a new build. Uh, upload, not projection. I want to upload lineups. I can upload them from SaberSim to DFS Hero. Let me just see something. Let's. I want. I want to upload projections. I want to upload a pool. Oh, I know how to do that. All right, so let's do this. We'll go to uh, field lineups. We're going to put uh, upload entries, what we're going to do. No, not an entry file. <laughs> uh, so flagship MMA, we're going to do create custom, you know, a custom field, I want custom lineups. I want to put lineups into here, which I don't know if I can do. Um, anyway, I, I know there's a way to do this, but I'm under a time, time crunch here, so I can't quite do it but just for fun. What if I went here and then we'll upload these new lineups that we created with DFS hero. The only way I could think of doing it. Oh, I know what I can do here. Go to ranker lineup. So put these 40 in. Okay. Um, so then what I can do is go into my lineups and see like how many of them are zeros. Right? If they're right, because I didn't load the DFS hero ones in there. So how many zeros are there? If they're zeros, that means they're not dupes. So that's five, nine, 13, 17, 21, 25, 29. Wow, 33. Oh my God. So 38 of the 40 lineups are different. So there is quite a difference between the DFS hero Sims and the Saberson Sims which is, you know, so what we could do, we, we could we could put these in. I don't really want to play that many contests, that many lineups. Let me just see if there's, there even, I think it's filled anyway. So maybe it's fair to put 20, just, just for fun, to put 20 DFS heroes, like the top 20 DFS hero ones and the top 20 draft uh, Saberson ones. I think that's fair, right? So let's again, let's go back to DFS Hero and let's uh, export values. What are they, 1047? Oh, plenty of time. And then we'll, these are the top rated GPP ROIs for, for DFS Hero. And then what we'll do is we'll go to SaberSim. We'll go back to ours. We'll take where were those bad boys? We'll take these and we'll take the top, I guess, 20 of these. I wonder if we can get if we use different logic like names versus whatever. So let's do that. Let's um, take the top 20 from Saberson, the top 20 from uh, DFS Hero. Let's see if DraftKings will let me do that. 
so funny. I'm sure the DFS, the DFS hero guys and anybody that's like kind of watching this is better with technology than I am. You can see me struggling with the different bits of Excel and stuff like that. And let's just see what happens. Let's see if this even works. We use two different sets of logic. Let's see what we do. Looks, looks like we did it. And there probably should be a couple of dupes, right? Okay, so these lineups here are the ones that both SaberSim and DFS Hero came up with. So we do have to change those. So uh, we could just make individual changes there. So funny, these are two line painters, the break point. So we can make a couple of just, well, this one is cool. These 800 on the table. Let's, let's, let's not play all the blue tech. Okay. We'll have to figure out how to best handle, um, these dupes. What we can do is use our raw projections, right? We can, or we could just download these and find the, I know what we can do. All right, this is fun. So let's uh, edit these entries. Sorry, let's, um. Let's download these. I don't uh, we're too smart. So we're going to take these. These are our 44 and our 22 uh, whatever lineups or 40 lineups. And we're going to put it in my in my dupe calculator here. This right over here. Dupe test. This does. Now that I have it in the right format, everybody's in the same format. So we'll put all these down here like this. Then we'll be able to see by running this macro, which ones are duped. And then we will add. So these five are duped, so it took them out. Okay. Now we can add one, two, three, four more. And we'll take, um, where are we going to take them from? The next four Saber Sims or the next four uh, DFS heroes? Well, all right, just for fun, we'll take it from the DFS heroes this time. Presume this is going to be good enough. Let's see. Here, you got to do one more. And then let's let's make sure these aren't duped. These should be okay. I should have no dupes, I don't think. Yep, no dupes. So now we have 40. 40 unique lineups that are blended. He's in, boom, save. We should be good. Oops, did not work, huh? Do, 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 do. Oh, just those last four didn't make it. All right, well, we're, we're, we're good. We're good, we, we will, we will get this done. So we still have these five duplicated lineups that we have to kind of deal with. You only have six minutes, but it's plenty of time. I like the, I like the, uh, I like the stress. All right, so same thing. We we now have 
I don't know, it looks as though we should have, these should all be good lineups, right? No, oh, I see what we did. So, yeah, we did. So let's, let's, I, I know what we did. Let's go back to the ranker. Not ranker values. See, I wanted just the ranker. Ranker lineups. Okay, let's do that. You know what I did? I didn't put the last player in. There you go. That's better. Now we should be good. So here, say, ready? I'm, I'm predicting this works, ready? Here it comes. So excited. These are the things that, these are the things that I enjoy. Ready? No errors. Thank you. All right. So uh, the last thing that we have to do <laughs> is, is, is figure out this double entry in the breakpoint. I can't unregister for it because it's filled which is a little annoying, um, but I think this is okay. We, we did the Sims, right? We did it correctly for that one. Just make sure we're not duped there. Great point. Uh, yeah, this is, this is different than the other one, I think. Let's just make sure, contests. Uh, Breakpoint, two entries, two different lineups. Looks good. So we should be in good shape. Whew. All right. So uh, let's also, just so we have it, let's upload my lineup files to see what we actually ended up with. And unfortunately, we're going to be riding this Mutet business. Oh, you know, we got to do the whole thing. Hold on. Upload, download. It's one less thing I have to do in four minutes. I have to check to see, make sure I didn't get any McDonald. I don't think I did, but I'm just going to double check. So we, we have three minutes left, so we'll, we'll just kind of hang around here. Actually, you know what I'll do? Is I will put it on pause, and we will check for dupes in, uh, what, five minutes? All right, I'll be right back. All right, unfortunately, um, uh, the um, sports projection site is not picking up the dupes, but we can see at least that uh, Boutet was not as own as I thought, so we are we are well above the field on the Boutet situation. So I really hope that McDonald does, in fact, uh, DQ, uh, drop out and a lucky loser plays. Worst case, we have a pretty bad play um, at 20. At, uh, well, not a bad play. I mean, it's a reasonable play, but at... Uh, like a zillion percent ownership, but we shall see. Uh, good luck, everybody.